What is up guys? It is the Saint Tub back with another video and I do want to say a couple things before this video gets started. Number one, I am not going to be commenting on the Drew Brees situation because, and I purposely refrained from making that video because I know each side feels very passionately about their issues. Personally, I understand both sides of the argument. Personally, I will say I didn't think Drew was in the right. I didn't think it was the best timing, but it's whatever. I'm I'm not going to I'm not going to argue it. I'm not going to make a whole video on it because I know each side is very passionate about their issues and I'm not trying to upset anyone or bring politics into this channel. This channel is about the Saints. I love Drew. I do think he made a mistake. He apologized for it. His teammates um his teammates forgave him. I don't know. But there is one thing, that being said, there is one thing I will say. There is a problem in this country. Police brutality and the systematic racism in this country is a very big and growing problem. And as a content creator, if I didn't, you know, help you guys or at least express some of my learning and growing, um over these past couple days, I would feel bad and I wouldn't feel right. So link will be in the description of like resources you can use if you want to help. If you don't, that's perfectly fine. Links to donate, links to sign petitions, but I wouldn't feel right not sharing what I've learned with you guys before the, before, just because I may not have the biggest platform, but I have a platform and I want to help as best I can. And I think there's a problem and I want to fix it. So this is the best I can do. That being said, let's get into the video. Today, we are going over the top five New Orleans Saints players of all time. Uh, all these stats you're going to be hearing are their stats with New Orleans. And um, the all pros... I got from Pro Football Hall of Fame because Pro Football Reference doesn't seem to agree with Pro Football Hall of Fame, but I thought Pro Football Hall of Fame is better for that kind of accolade stuff, and Pro Football Reference is better for stats, so that's how I did it. But let's get into it. Number five, Pat Swilling. Swilling, I always get it wrong. I, I'm pretty sure it's Swilling, though. I was drafted in the third round, uh, 60th overall. Um... So the reason I didn't go with Marquez Colston is because Marquez Colston never made a Pro Bowl, and although he spent more years with New Orleans, Pat Swilling had a very big award that we will talk about. Uh, in his seven years of playing with the Saints, Pat played 107 games and started 89 with them. In his career, Pat amassed three interceptions, 24 forced fumbles, seven fumble recoveries, 76 and a half sacks, and 354 combined tackles. Almost, almost with New Orleans hitting that 100 sack club, which is a very exclusive club in the NFL, but not, I mean, I don't know. It's a shame he didn't stay with New Orleans because um, his career took kind of a downhill turn after leaving New Orleans. I mean, he had some good years, I think, with the Lions, but after that, it was just... But uh, he won uh, his biggest award, which is why I gave this to him. Uh, NFL Defensive Player of the Year in 1991. Um, you were the best defender in the league that year. That is a humongous award, and I don't think a Saints player is going to win that for a very long time just because it's such a hard award to win. It's putting the entire defense on your back and being that fucking good. He had four Pro Bowl selections with us, 1989, 1990, 1991, and 1992. He had two first-team All-Pro selections with us and uh, two second-team All-Pro selections with us. And he has... Oh, and in 1991, he had the most sacks in the league. So he was a fucking baller. I mean, Pat Swilling, absolutely. Um, All-time, I believe. Or no, excuse me. This is um, top 10 finishes uh, in his career with New Orleans. Like... Top 10 finishes in uh, quarterback sacks. He had three, 1987, 1989, and 1991. And top 10 finishes in forced fumbles. He had five. 
Pat was an absolute sack guru, pass rushing machine that was absolutely a great part of this organization. Um, I thank him for his services, and honestly, I'm just kind of sad he didn't finish out his career in New Orleans because I think he went would go from being Hall of Fame snub, which is what I've read on him, to in the Hall of Fame because I think the New Orleans and Pat just worked well together, to be honest. But coming in at number four, we have Jerry Evans selected in the fourth round of the 2006 draft with the 108th pick, one of the best steals I think the Saints have had in recent years, but Jerry played 169 game with the Saints, started 169 of them, and allowed zero sacks in his New Orleans career. Wow. Uh, he was a six-time Pro Bowler, straight years from the years 2009 to 2014. So six straight years. He was four, uh, four-time first-team All-Pro from 2009 to 2012, <laughs> and he was second team All-Pro in 2013. He's made the 2010s All-Decade team, and of course, Jerry was on the Super Bowl winning team. Jerry, you know, there's not a lot of stats you can go over with offensive linemen besides like sacks given up or pro football focus grades, but he protected Drew and probably helped prolong his career by being that damn good because... Well, he doesn't allow sacks, and he was with us for a very fucking long time. An absolute stud. I remember watching him play in my younger days. Was always good, always played. That man was a baller. I, I, I got mad respect for Jerry Evans. I think he makes a case for the Hall of Fame only because of the four-time All-Pros and a Super Bowl. But I can understand some people saying he doesn't have enough. But personally, I think he's like a fringe you know, fringe Hall of Famer, but we'll see in the future. Coming in at number three, Willie Rofe, selected in the first round of the 1993 with the eighth overall pick. He played 139 games with us and allowing also zero sacks in his career. Now, the only reason I pit Willie over Jury, even though he played less years with us, was because Willie has something Jury doesn't have. But I think a couple things that Jerry should have and will get later in his career. Willie played 139 games and started 139. Oh, I already said that. I'm so stupid. Uh, Willie was a seven-time Pro Bowler from the years 1994 to 2000. Four-time All-Pro. Uh, Second-team All-Pro twice with the team. He made the NFL All-Decade 90s team. The NFL All-Decade 2000 team. He was a 1994-1995 NFC Offensive Lineman of the Year. He was 1995 Offensive Lineman of the Year. He's in the Saints Hall of Fame. He helped win the Saints first franchise playoff win. He's in the Saints Ring of Honor. And most of all, Willie Rofe is a Hall of Famer. Uh, we don't have many Hall of Famers. I think we have like four or five? Four or five. Um, and to be one of those um, is very big because we don't have many of them. And so that is why I put Willie above Jerry. He also had the Saints Ring of Honor and Saints Hall of Fame. For some reason, Jerry, I don't think he's in that, but he really should be because he had a wonderful career with us. Um, but I'm assuming, I don't know how the years work with that, but I'm assuming they'll give it to him. He's a fantastic player. Um... Once again, not many stats you can go over, but Willie Rofe was an absolute stud. Uh, I think he actually follows me on Instagram. Shout out to him. Um, but Willie's an absolute stud. I personally could not watch him play. I've watched some film over the years, but it's not the same as watching it live, you know. But nonetheless, Willie's a fantastic player, and I'm really proud to call him a New Orleans Saint. And coming in at number two, we have... Someone who does follow me on Instagram, Ricky Jackson. Selected in the second round of the 1981 NFL Draft, he played 195 games with us and started 195 of them. In his time with New Orleans, Ricky amassed 7 interceptions, 38 forced fumbles, 115 sacks. He hit the 100 sacks club, very exclusive club in the NFL, and 1,104 combined tackles. Uh, he was a six-time Pro Bowler, four-time All-Pro, five-time All-Pro second team, four-time All-NFC, three-team All-NFC second team, Saints Ring of Honor, Saints Hall of Fame, and number 
Last, sorry, lastly, Hall of Fame. Once again, one of our very few Hall of Famers, as we don't have the richest history, but um, uh, he was very good. He hit the 100 sack club. Once again, personally can't watch him play, but Ricky, he was an absolute unit on the field. And I've watched film. He's a dirty animal. I, I love watching him play. He's an absolute stud. Um, I, I love, I stud, 100 sack club. I mean, look at all these accolades. In total, he's amassed nine, uh, all pro teams, five, five second teams, four first. That's, that's insane. Uh, of course he was going to be a hall of famer. He'll, I mean, he's a dirty animal. What can I say? And number one, we all know him. I wasn't even going to get these stats because holy shit. Do you know how many records the man broke? Number one, not super well liked by the media right now but that is drew Brees. um personally drew Brees has made this franchise relevant through the years when we didn't have a goddamn defense and even kept us seven to nine because with the 31st ranked defense it's kind of hard to win games drew Brees has the passing touchdown record the passing yards record he has so many goddamn records it would have been too much to write down Obviously, he's going to be a Hall of Famer. Obviously, he's going to be in the Saints Ring of Honor. I mean, won our only Super Bowl. He was He's our only Super Bowl MVP. The man has single-handedly turned this franchise around, made us relevant, and I hope this season we can go out there and get that one last ring for him. I mean, there's not much to say. I mean, there's a lot to say about Drew, but you guys already know it as Saints fan, and... He's a dirty animal. <laughs> I personally think um, if he was able to win more, well, I'm not going to say that because I know some Saints fans will get mad at me, but I think, I mean, Drew is just, he's different. I personally think he's not the GOAT, I will say it, I will say it, but I personally do think skill-wise he's better than Brady. Brady has six rings, and I know for some people rings aren't everything, but in my eyes, Drew would trade all his records for six rings, and I think he knows that, and I know that, because a ring is a ring. But, once again, I do think he's probably the uh, best skill-based quarterback of all time, but has been on shit team for years. And it's unfortunate. Well, not shit team, because I love the Saints, excuse me. Um, shitty defenses. <laughs> But, guys, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like. Uh, I also almost forgot to forget, uh, our last video hit 5,000 views. That blew our uh, record out the window. Thank you so much. That uh, gave me like 40, 50 subs. It's absolutely insane. Um, if you want to help out, link below uh, to the Black Lives Matter movement. And until next time, guys, peace.